Welcome back guys to Akami, where we hunt for ingredients all around. Still two more to find if I'm correct in saying. So let's get back out there with the newly gained power to manipulate fire. Let's head back first of all to one of the first areas we visited because there was of course a treasure chest locked in ice over here. So hopefully, considering the fact that we couldn't open it at the time, it might be something important. Maybe have one of the ingredients. Worth checking out past this golden gate. Hope for the best. If not, we keep on going because there was a path before with the broken bridge. And that had eyes on the other side. So hopefully we get something nice in here. Well, it opens up for us no matter what, but it's only an exorcism slip S. What a waste of time. We may as well gobble up some more fruit, get some yen, and get moving. No, we don't, we don't want to go up, we want to go along. Super speedy, Amaterasu time. Faster than the wind, faster than the Kazagami. So no, that treasure chest was not the kind of luck I was hoping for. It wasn't what the item I was looking for, that's for sure. Let's head upwards, though mind you there was, it was through there wasn't it, that we got ourselves some weirdness going on here, right that should be a clover, which I'm not sure we saw that before, what on earth is this, an incredibly bouncy flower, oh okay, so it's a way to get up on high, Maybe move the camera a bit. And man, did that provide launch. Now where are we at the moment? That's the real question. Okay, by the look of it, we're... So that should be the blocked off door below us. So that just launches us straight up on here without having to enter the room or anything? Interesting shortcuts are being made. I still want to know how to get to that treasure chest over there. Ah well, all the same, we know at least one way to head. Through here. For ice on the other side. Whoops. Who was it that broke this bridge again? Well, I mean, you are actually heavier than you look. That power of yours could easily handle a broken bridge. But why didn't you think about going on a diet first? How rude is it? How rude indeed. Well, apart from that, Let's use that power he so mentions with the triangular brush. And restore the bridge. A lot more stone than it was before, considering the fact I'm running straight over it. Set off to new places. Or evil shrines, as the case may be here. Hello, it's a fire wheel this time. Had ice wheels, now we got fire. Oh, we got boat. Ooh! Now that is interesting. Doesn't look like he's happy about being beaten up there. And now we have to deal with a fire one on our own. Which isn't such a bad thing, surely. Surely I can blow out the wind. Or blow out the fire. Oh no, 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 he, that does not seem to be that capable of doing. Oh, well, you can beat him up without any struggle. May as well take him out nice and swiftly. Alright, so it's kind of interesting that we can use one's kind of element on the other. That's pretty good. And of course, when we've used one element, we've kind of erased the other one. Oh, massive eyeball, eyeball of fire. Second, I use an ingredient in Orochi's appetizer. I'm sure. Let's continue along the path that's set before us. Find out what's through here. I exercising little dart. Any kind of fire going on though? Hmm. So it seems like we can set these on fire somehow. The question is, how? 
These are some kind of fiery stones. And I can't just brush over to them like this. Can't hit it. Maybe there's something we still have to find here. Maybe there's an addition to the firepower. Or maybe... Now this is doubtful. I can get near enough that I can see flames to pass them on. Okay, let's angle this. Can I pass flames? Doesn't look like it, no. So we've got to find some way to light things. Now that's easier said than done yet again. What's going on here? That was Orochi, no doubt. Sounds like he's hungry or something. Oh no, maybe he couldn't wait for his appetizer. He hasn't eaten poor Kushi first, has he? I hope not. All the work we're doing for him, after all. All the work we don't necessarily want to be doing. Right, a heart lock just over the way. Sorry, sir, you're going to be impaled. It seems we're looking for a new power or something. Ooh, quicksandish type area. What's up on the high here? We got some fire. We got something up there. Reach no problem at all. Now we want to look this way. It looks like yet another clover. Let's rejuvenate ourselves along with it. Is there anywhere I can go from up here? No, it seems completely useless at the moment. Let's not try to go into one of these holes unless we have to. It's always a possibility. In fact, we've got ourselves another rock. One with the symbol of fire. That highly interests me, that's for sure. Huh? I thought I saw a path for a second when the sand blew. Yeah, I thought I did as well. We've been warped forward. Mind you, I'm not sure exactly where the path is now or what's the point of it. Are we supposed to move this ball through it? Can we even move it? That's a real question, to be honest. Or we can if we hit it one. Seems we can only move it by giving it a good whack. Where to is the real question right now. Alright, show me... Oh, no, no, no. The path with the wind. Make my own then. So as long as I keep the wind going, I guess the path will stay, or the path just came back again. I wonder how long that'll stay for, but... Ooh. Let's not go into the endless abyss ball that I think I have to take across with me. Ooh, let's not go... No! I knocked it in. Right, it's probably spawned... Oh, no, spawned back here. That's good. If I could just nuzzle it like I could before, things would be going a lot better for me. Come on, oh, the past disappeared again. All right, give me the ball on top of my head. All right, let's use the big brush. And I hope it stays for longer this time. And to be honest, getting to go the right direction is annoying. All right, then we need to aim more this way. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you go disappearing path. Oh no, the path still actually exists, no matter what. It's just invisible. Which is fine and dandy. No, I've just gone and knocked it off again! Ugh! I thought I had it, but then I thought it was going way too far to the side. Right, attempt number, knock it straight off. That's gone. No way I'm keeping that on. Bye bye ball. We know you're going, just hurry up about it. There we go. Right. Attempt number, please do it this time. Too near the edge at the moment, that's for sure. And I can't really reorientate myself that much. Well, that seems to get it going in the right track. 
Well, that skull didn't really help me that much. Hopefully you stop now so we can figure out where we're going next. And what really is it we're doing? All these things and more would be nice to know. Okay, that's counted as wins, strangely enough. We want a rejuvenation, though. Sorry about confusing you there, game. Right. And then I need to quickly hit it to that side. Nope, it's going in. Unless I can get it out from here. Oh, I can, but I might not be making it. Oh, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Except now it's going this way. Yes, yes, go, go around nicely. I think, I think it's working. Unless there's another hole on the other side which you can't see right now. Oh, no, we're, we're cool. We got this. Stop panicking. It's fine. We finally made it. Annoying ball. Get in the hole. Okay, I managed to miss the hole. That, that's, that's quite extraordinary. And maybe with a switch, we finally get a light. Does seem we get that indeed. What's in here? You obtain Moon Cave map. Map display and structures details. That's all brilliant and all. We still need to figure out exactly what's going on. Now, should we head back from whence we came? No, where are we now, actually? That's a good question. Along from the Heartlock place, we can go up even higher, in fact. Let's have a chat with you, eh, sir? What are you? Oh, you, you're a bender? Cool. Here for a snack or something during your break? Well, take your pick. Just don't try to stiff me. Sure, yeah, we'll do some shopping. What's he got on offer? Uh, oh, that's the kind of weapon we've got currently, so yes, yeah, not much use in that. Take some more mermaid coins. Anything else we need? Infinity stones, no kind of special stuff apart from that? No. Well, in the meantime, we may as well take our treasure. It is actually a treasure, incense burner. Sell for even more yen. We'll sell it at a later date when we've got ourselves to a normal vendor. They can give us something of brilliance. Something of worth. When did I lose my HP? That's something I'm questioning. Right, so we've gone up here. There is, in fact, a vine now to be able to pull us up whenever we want. And there's somewhere all the way up there as well. Right, so we're down here. We may as well just heighten ourselves a little bit because we're going back for a treasure room that we haven't visited yet. I'm assuming every single one of those lamps is now lit up with flame. Excuse me, I'm coming right through with all speed. And indeed. Right, so we've got treasure chests all around. Start picking them up, eh? Got ourselves a still fist Saki. What's in this one? Oh! You obtain Exorcism Slip L. Paper depicting holy incantation greatly damages nearby enemies, so just S is small and L is large. And we'll take the bull horns as well. So treasured out this room at the very least. Not finding myself very many stray bees at the moment though. A bit worried about that. Where to look? Where to look? A stray bees up on high, you never know with these kind of places. That should mean that also the lamp next to the bell is now lit. So we can go there. Hope for the best. Jump down. We can work our way. Ooh, we don't want to fall all the way down though, however. So this one and that lamp there. I'm guessing not one of the ingredients up there, but well, we might get lucky. In fact, it seems a big treasure chest has appeared in the meantime. Oh, it seems a bit higher than my station. Oh, come on, Slash. There we go. We'll take the Kutani Pottery. Dish that is elegant in design and features beautiful etchings. I'm sure it does. This must be something else that's going to spawn there at some point in time. But we've given ourselves some water for another upward stroke. And another treasure chest from it. And this is a crystal. Crystallized quartz that emits an enchanting sparkle. Seems to be many, many treasures for many, many yen. 
we're going to have to work our way a little bit more back up again. Let's arrange ourselves nicely. And jump. Oh, not quite reaching. I need to do it as it starts its upwards thrust at the very moment. So many puzzles going on right now. Right, so we've done this room to the left. We've got the room with the heart lock. And then through there... In fact, we supposedly can't go through there again now, so back through there. We end up upwards with... There was a vine, of course, to get hold of. So is our aim to use that vine to pull us ourselves up even further? This is indeed the question. At what point can I use this vine? Not that far away. Hopefully, that's high enough for us to be able to use the one up there. Yes, it is. So seeing myself here. Aha, we got it. No problemo. Lots of hot rocks, though. Let's slash them. If I could do a singular straight brush stroke, that would be brilliant. Restore HP and find out what's coming on next. Right, we have a cannon. And, oh, oh. We should be able to activate that, no problem. Come, wind. Oh, the gaps always make me worry. Danger! Do not use the cannon. It's out of order. I want to do just the opposite when I see a sign like this, especially in the evil guy's lair. Guess I should change my title to Ethan the Fearless. I, I guess you should. But is my aim to go into it myself? That's my question right now. Right. Load the cannon. Lo 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 load the cannon with me. You say you're out of order. Stop Stop spinning. Or maybe I just fire it when it's at the right point. Do we want it to fire straight across or something? Where do we want it to fire? That is the question. Let's go for there. Oh, there you are. A time cannon. So we have to kind of judge things even more differently. The fuse has to, wick has to burn, even. Hit nothing there. So what am I aiming at? That is the true question right now. There is... Well, there's a sign over there. Now that looks interesting, and it's definitely in the trajectory. We didn't even seem to fire that time. Do I need to reload it or something? Oh, maybe I need to reload it with a bomb. Or, aim for the sign as I thought. Finally got the target on target. Alright, but how do I... Oh yeah, back to the wind. Well, that's the worst wind ever, but it works. I don't know if I can just walk straight over that or not, but better safe than sorry, eh? Little hole in the wall. Head through. Oh, get out of my way. Never mind. My slashes are quite terrible. I'll take the gourd and more monsters appear. You, sir, with all your skeleton people. I'll take them out. Are you, are you completely defenseless now? Sorry about that. I apologize. Give us your demon fangs. Or actually, I 100% do not apologize. I think I might bomb myself a little bit there. That's no problem, really. All the jars got exploded as well, by the look of it. Just wondering if I can get myself some health back. No ink pots, however. Those are good. Right, so we seem to have a gem up on high that I can't knock down. It looks very interesting, though, gotta say. In fact, loads of jars and the whatnot. And lots of yen from them. Is this some kind of treasure room? Well, there appears to be places to de-ice. Now, can we reach any flame for you, or do we have to find it? We do have to find a way to knock it down. So I can't just knock it down by just hitting it then? 
with slash or the whatnot? Do I have to be able to jump up high enough? Can I use wind? Well, that wasn't very windy for a start. Blow it off. Yes, blowing it off works. So this orb will... Yes, I thought that might happen. So we've got to use the wind completely to make it move over. That looks fine for wind for me. Right, this could take some time. Go, wind, go! No, that way, that way, that way. Yep. Not gonna notice that sign now. As we slowly, slowly kind of bodge it towards the opening here. Blow it away! Come on! We're nearly there! Maybe I should use the bigger brush strokes for one gigantic one. Go that way! Go that way! I've run out of ink, but it seems I'm more or less in the right position. One more movement will do. Come on, Nakami! Get your ink back together! I hate having to do it in a long stroke like that. I get the relative pattern, but we have now got it in the right place. To be able to melt our pathways out and make our way forward. So guys, I'm going to leave it here for this episode. Join me for more Akami next time. And I'll see you guys around as we explore more of Orochi's, well, fortress, the moon cave. And find our last ingredient at last. Bye-bye.